Should a Christian vote Democrat or Republicans? I wanna take you back to the slavery days and I want you to suppose that you had one party that said slavery is completely evil. We want to completely abolish this abominable act from the land, but they also wanted to raise taxes and eliminate health care. all right? <laughs> but you have another party who does a lot of really good things for the community. They do a lot of good things for society. They help the poor. They lower the taxes for the people. They're strong on education, but they have been very public about wanting to promote and enforce as many laws as possible to maintain slavery and even make it more prevalent. As a matter of fact, they believe that the government should not get involved in matters of slavery and that every human being should have the choice to own slaves. It's not our place to regulate that. We will even fund programs to make it easier for anyone who wants to own slaves to do so. Now, my brothers and sisters, would you say to yourself, well, they really do stand for a lot of good things for the community, so I'll overlook their desire to enslave people or would that one issue of slavery outweigh all of the good things that party represents because it goes against the very will of God for his people and it goes directly against a Christian worldview. I wanna make the argument that if that illustration does not resonate with you, it's probably because you see slavery as something that would directly affect you, particularly if you are an American, or excuse me, an African American in this country. But you don't see abortion in the same way because you don't believe it directly affects you. My brothers and sisters, I want to encourage you to give that some consideration as you cast your vote. Why? Because I believe that the issue of abortion is an even greater issue than the issue of slavery. What? What? Was he about he to say the, the greater issue than slavery? slavery? He did. <laughs> so go check out Alan Parr. He did. He did a great. <laughs> he did a he great video. He's right. If you put in your faith first, yeah. No, he's yeah. not. Okay, but go check out Alan Parr's video. He did like an hour long breakdown of what Republicans believe, what Democrats believe. I thought he did an amazing job. Um, but this section, my sister uh, clipped out for us. And she wanted to discuss it. Him um, using the analogy of slavery in regard to abortion. What did you guys think? I'll let y'all speak on it first. I'm you know how this go. No, I don't. How's yeah, it you go? do. How does it go? It goes one, two. <laughs> one, two, three. Yeah, oh, now back to one. one. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to crisscross and, 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 and throw the alley oop to Shania. Go ahead, Shania. Okay, well, I definitely feel like a thing could be a thing and we don't have to compare them together. Because I don't like the direct correlation between abortion and slavery. Me either. At all. Mm, I kind of feel like they're one and the same when you're talking about the elimination of people, um, elimination of lives, slavery. Mm -hmm. Like we're still feeling the direct effects of slavery to this day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And abortion as well. Um, I talked to some Christians about the abortion, and they're a Democrat. And I said, "How can you, you know, how can you rational rationalize that?" And they say, "Well." You know, it's a free country. People have the right to do whatever they want to do. That doesn't necessarily say I agree with it, mm -hmm. but it's not up to me to decide whether or not they want to do that with their body. Um, me personally, I just feel like anybody who says that's okay, I just can't get with it. But on the same time, same thing, like he was saying, like when you look at the Republican Party and some of the things that they stand for, it's almost like we're going to let you live, but we're going to ruin your life after you survive, almost type stuff. So it's like you can see corrupt things with both sides. You can see some positive things on both sides as a believer. So I kind of just stand in the point of all of it is just crazy. I'm just going to trust the Lord. <laughs> you know so I'm, I'm curious about your reaction. So, and I think this reveals where, how much you think abortion is a problem, right? Mm -hmm. If you think slavery is uh, way worse than abortion, is this our island question? Yeah, it sounds like it is. <laughs> I think they're terrible. I think they're both terrible. And I think our stance should be the same. Like, what does the Bible say about this? And the mm -hmm. Bible says that it's wrong. Um, even though people like to say, I want to separate, you know, religion from law. We were based as a, like the laws were based on Judeo-Christian law. And I feel like um, we are responsible what happens in this land. If my people hum humble themselves to repent, I'll mm -hmm. heal this land. Like, I think there's a direct correlation with what we allow. And if you want, like, 
it, uh, I'm sorry. My brain is just. Yeah, I, I, I think it really this really, I think, reveals what do you believe about abortion? Do you believe that babies are being murdered or do you just think it's like, oh, it's just a piece of a woman's body that she's cutting out? Like wh- it, it, it really kind of what do you think about that? And I think that sways how much you think what Democrats believe in, how evil it is or not. But I, mm-hmm. I think comparing it to is kind of harsh. Um, one is because um, if I wish you could have we just said a whole clip because I'm like, is he on that Kanye like slavery was a choice thing? Because then <laughs> no, and, no. And, and, and no, I then think abortion he, is for some people is a choice. You know what I'm saying? So well, it's like, no, I think he's he's pointing out the fact that um, because people. If you watch, you have to watch. It's an hour, so yeah, I know. I saw it. I was like Camille, and and he he started. <laughs> it started out with him basically. You, he pointed out this is what this is why some Christians are okay with being Democrats, and this is why Christians yeah, yeah, are okay yeah, with yeah. being Republicans. Yeah, he broke down each and point. He says why he's voting the way he's voting. And at he the at the his conclusion is the issue of abortion outweighs the other issues that are on the other side. So he he basically because I I did skim through some of it. And he was basically, like you said, is like, well, abortion is more important than civil rights. It's more important than all yeah. this other stuff that, you know, the Democratic Party has presented to African-Americans. Mm-hmm. So for me and my belief system, I believe that I have to go based off the policies of the conservative. That's right. what it sounds yeah. like so he said. He's saying pretty much the Democratic Party were the ones who wanted slavery and they also are the ones who are cool with abortion. That's pretty much what he's saying. No, I don't think it was like a whole like, you know, Dixiecrat switch situation. It's just I, I think he's just saying now, today, in today's world, mm-hmm. if if one party supported slavery, mm-hmm. but they did a bunch of good stuff for health care and, and the economy and all this kind of stuff, but they were all in on slavery. Then the other party was anti-slavery, but they were really bad on economy and, and they just they, they were mean. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He's basically saying this issue is way more important than them being mean or them being mm. bad on, you know, uh, taking care of the poor and I all that kind of stuff. With, I agree with that. I, 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 it's no it's no way in my mind I can rationalize me being okay with slavery. Um, mm-hmm. There's no way in right. my mind I can right. feel myself being okay with the murder of babies or children. Like, I was hearing during the, um, they were, I forgot what you called it, but they were talking the other night and they were saying some places you can do an abortion up to nine months. Yeah. I'm like, a baby, nine, that's a, that's a baby, that's a life. And you, well, and you, he, he, this is even worse than that, guys. Like now, th- again, these are edge cases. It's still thousands and thousands of babies. But this is where I think the debate. We this is kind of like um, our way into talking about what happened with the debate. I think Kamala did way better than Trump, but the issue that she still is like the weakest on for me is they asked her, "Would you support restrictions on abortion past a certain point?" She didn't answer it. And she can't answer it because the people who are supporting her, some of them do support all the way up until birth. And what Trump uh, clumsily brought up during the debate, because he's the terrible person for you guys to be sticking out there as the leader of this thing, is (laughs) there are situations where... Policies, policies, Sean. And this is why it's so gross. There are some situations where abortions are attempted and they fail. The baby is alive outside of the womb and mm-hmm. then they kill the baby mm-hmm. so that's murder. that's, that's oh, yeah. what he was trying to bring up but yeah. he just sucks at it yeah. right mm-hmm. so this abortion thing is more serious than i think a lot of us think about their mm-hmm. late-term abortions are gross yeah, yeah. they're gross it's murder man. i mean if you don't think of killing a fetus is murder late-term term abortions are actual murder yeah. yes it's yeah. serial killer murder yes you know what i mean like i looked it up before and it li- I, it literally brought me to tears in college like they put acid in the mom's womb to burn the baby alive like you said they get, they for, they incite you know my brain goodness but anyway they make the the woman give birth and then they literally wring their neck like how you wring the neck of a chicken mm. they strangle them to where they die like it's gruesome it is gruesome. And that speaks to people who say, you know, maybe you're making an emotional decision when you think about this stuff. Like, I don't think it's emotion. I think it's just a fact. Like, babies are getting killed. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, lives are being taken. And if you're having sex and you're unprotected sex and you're doing different things, that's one thing. Now, I know to understand the case of somebody may have been raped or taken advantage of, and now you're pregnant and you're thinking, like, I don't want to have a baby after that experience. Um, as traumatic as that is, it's like, 
I don't know. I just think the baby still shouldn't be blamed per se. I, I, mean, right. I know that's kind of some people might not agree with that. And if you don't want to have that child, it's people out here who want to have children who can't mm-hmm. give. several abortions himself and he is only saying that my opinion to appease you guys so he could get in office <laughs> mm-hmm. that's the decision no, that's different. yeah you see what i'm saying yeah. so it's not a uh, one part because he in out of his own mouth has supported abortion says six weeks is not enough then he double then he backs up because he realizes that could get him in trouble he <laughs> he he sees that the abortion issue he's losing on so he tries to backpedal to where uh so he doesn't lose every single vote of people who are pro-abortion he is not a good example of what the republican party thinks yeah, about this issue i heard somebody say that they were saying the uh republican policies may be more i guess you could say more christian but the representative of the republican party is not a, a good example of christianity that's himself. all i'm saying so yeah. what i'm what the the reason i think this is interesting is because i do think a lot of us have minimized how evil the abortion industry is however there are in the in the midst of pursuing eliminating abortions there's been so many compromises made and so many um uh insensitivities like okay there are women who want to become pregnant mm-hmm. that this affects all this stuff affects Mm -hmm. there are women who wanted to be pregnant that lost their child that this affects Mm there is a lack of sensitivity towards those women in the midst of all of this yeah that's evil too Mm -hmm. yeah so what i'm what i'm struggling with with this is that the people who are in charge of this movement i don't like them (laughs) i get what they're going for because the people on the ground have good intentions the people that they're electing to carry out the intentions, oh. I think, are evil people. Mm. So you want me to vote for these evil people because at somehow, some way, you get what you want. I, I don't think you, you realize how much you're giving up to get that. Is it, that's that's my concern. I guess the question goes, and this is going to be probably for everybody's party. What's the thing for abortion? Because I think so many people think so many different ways about mm-hmm. it. Because for somebody who... <clears throat> A Christian who's a Democrat who loves Jesus and you serve with them at your church and and they're good people. Y'all have had stuff at your church. They've helped you out in your life. Like you're looking at them some type of way because they feel some type of way. And they may be like, I'm pro, you know, I'm not even pro choice. I'm pro life. But I love the Democrats on what they stand on when it comes to like, like you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I think sometimes we look at abortion from a, a lens of. I mean, I think a lot of people look at abortion from a lens of, because the first thing they go to is the rape situation, mm-hmm. or it's yeah, the, a woman getting violated, or uh, uh, or, or other other endangering the mother. Yeah, yeah. And you don't want to be insensitive yeah. to that. Yeah, and you, you don't. Know. But I think the problem is, the problem is the kind of like you how you feel with Trump. The people that's using it is not using it for that reason. They using it because they just want to have their life. Wow. And, and, and that and that's why I'm like, why why is our natural reaction to see evil over there? And run to the evil over there. Mm -hmm. Like, why are we doing it? Like, I feel very comfortable saying that's evil and that's evil. You want me to pick one of y'all? Y'all need to change. (laughs) I'm not going to change. That's how I feel. I feel like, I mean, because at the end of the day, you're voting for the policies and not the person. And then when I look at your policies, I see some good stuff, some bad stuff. And and over here, I see the same thing. It's like, you're asking me to choose one of the lesser evils. And um, I just rather not be involved. I rather just pray for my leader and trust the lord (laughs) i I think and this is where this is where you know and people would say that's not right either but where we can have it both ways is that there are people on the lowest levels of government that actually make decisions that are genuine godly people Mm -hmm. they haven't been corrupted yet (laughs) those are the people you invest in at the local level and and try to get them up to the to the national mm-hmm. level. Mm-hmm. Trying to do it top down, I think that's why we're getting to I, where we are now. I, I don't think nobody's good in politics, man. Honestly, I I, I just came to that <laughs> conclusion because I'm just I think you're gonna have to make decisions 
um, to do something that you may like, compromise. Uh, but, yeah, yeah, you're gonna have to compromise in some way that you said to the people that you weren't, you wasn't gonna compromise. Because mm -hmm. any bill or law getting passed, they need enough from both sides yeah. to pass that law. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So when you, so when you talking to somebody and somebody is a Republican and you are a Democrat and you like, hey man, come on, help me with this law. You pass that law, you try to run for some. Hey, when back in the day and mm -hmm. such and such, he signed. You know what I'm saying? So that's yeah, I was like. I don't think we realize how dirty the game is. So one, once people get into the game, they think they're going to be pure of heart yeah, and this and that. Yeah. You realize you get there and it's like, oh, you have to do what they say because yeah. they give us money. Yeah. You have to do what they say because they give us yeah. money. That dude over there, don't don't tell him no. Yeah. Because this whole thing shuts down if we yeah. don't do what he says. Yeah. 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 And then what are you going to do? Man. Yeah. 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 I agree with that. Um, I can't remember which theologian said it. I think it's Charles Spurgeon. But it was basically on, along the lines of like, the thing with sin is like it's it's under the guise of personal autonomy so like you're saying like mm. okay because of my freedom i can do this this and that but as christians we don't guide our our actions or our views or our decisions based on our feelings we're supposed to do it based on the word of god and i think there's a direct correlation between our actions and what we do especially as a nation and i honestly really don't want to frustrate the anger of God anymore so like I get like looking for the sin and the, the policies on each side but I definitely think abortion is something that will definitely even the more incite the anger of God and as a nation I think we need and Christians I think we need to stand on this is terrible and this is like even when we look in the Bible, like the the different nations and stuff that used to sacrifice babies, because really, when we look at the origin of abortion, yeah. it was created by a witch. Planned Parenthood. This is a this is a professing witch that created this. And the ritual is a ritual unto a demon in the Bible named Moloch. Mm -hmm. So it's like. Y'all are like, even though y'all are doing this consciously or subconsciously, you are killing these babies. You are sex spilling innocent blood that frustrates God. So like, we need to take a stand to make sure we are not allowing this to happen. And my and my thing is, Christians who again, I'm on your side. I get it. Get rid of this dude and get rid of any of the people who are on his <laughs> side. Late, he's ru hey, That's he's yeah, ruining this, this for you. Yeah. <laughs> Get rid of him. It's too late. Denounce him because he is late. not Denounce a good him. example of what this is but, all about. But here's the game. But saying that, and then like like hearing Kamala saying, "Well, I got like 200 conservatives riding with me." That's why, though. You know what I mean? But at the same time, my question is going back to what she just said. If you believe, you may not like him, right? But if you don't, if you believe in what, are you believing what she's saying too? Yeah, but here's the thing. He's lost his ground because now he out of his mouth too many times. He sounds like her. That's the conflicting yeah. thing, though, because you got one party over here who's cool with abortions and transgenders and homosexual lifestyle and all the rest of this stuff. But then you got these guys over here who have the policy that seems more Christian, but the guy is not Christian. So now it's like, am I not going to vote for these Christian policies because mm -hmm. the guy at the lead is kind of suspect? Because if I vote, if I have vote the other way, I'm voting completely against. Uh, what I stand for So right. that's the catch 22 in it. I think my thing is this Don't let this Destroy friendships Family members Anything <laughs> I'm saying, No I'm serious yeah. Maya showed me something Of somebody we know And she posted something I'm like Now you know people mm -hmm. That you've been In ministry with For like years You know them Like y'all know each other You you got Y'all you have done ministry together They've helped you You've helped them mm -hmm. in, in life So why are you letting policy Politics Break you up that's the foolishness of this. Like that's for Christians and even like for people that you know, like your family members. Like for for this to do that is ridiculous, man. Yeah, yeah. I think we need to pray for everyone because <clears throat> I I really yeah. think we need to stop being guided by our feelings and what we think is best, and we need to pray because I just lost my train of thought again. But um, in in circling back. We don't like the person, but at the end of the day, it's the party. So if the yeah. party is going to um, pass more laws that are in favor and alignment with God's word. Hey, y'all yeah. could do that. I ain't voting for him. I've been, mm. I've been silent. <laughs> I vote for everybody else. I vote yeah. for everybody else who stands up against him. Yeah. If you, if you want my vote, have the right policy and stand up against that dude. So you vote for trust presidency him. Jill Stein? <clears throat> I don't know, but so. I'm not voting for him. I've been I, silent. I, he is not a good person. I don't Pedro, care what y'all yeah. think. 
Pedro. So I've been <laughs> I've been silent this whole time because um, just in my mind, like, man, you you can't compare anything to slavery, and it bothers me whenever it gets brought up. Whenever somebody compares civil rights issues to uh, LGBTQ, like, you just can't do that. Um, I went to HBCU. I studied this stuff for years, um, and you just can't. You can't in my mind. Like, there's no there's no convincing me that anything is worse than slavery it just yeah. isn't even even when you go back to the bible right and you go back to when moses was delivering the israelites away from the hand of pharaoh one of the plagues was to kill every male child right mm-hmm. and, the, and the angel of death had to pass over your house um so that your child wouldn't be killed but then god also saw that as let me still free these people like my number one thing was to free them from this bondage they were in mm-hmm. so when i look at that i'm just like i i can't understand how we can compare something that, you know, none of us made a choice for. None of our ancestors made a choice for that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, and so when you think about this, you've got people on the Democratic side who, who vote Democrat, who vote Republican, that have all had abortions. And it was their choice. Slavery wasn't a choice for us. Mm-hmm. What about the ba- from the baby's point of view? From the baby's point of view, that's different, right? I've, I've, I've had to deal with a miscarriage as well. So I com- remain completely silent on that. I don't talk about a mother's anything anything because i i know what that that wound does to a lot of people i know and love but i'm just like slavery Mm-mm. you can't you can't you can't convince me of that yeah, they were killing but babies that. during slavery like yeah. that was that okay was but look at all the things that we have look at the effects of slavery yeah. right. even Absolutely. to this day you to know this, what i mean to, to this day um i get you i think mass murder is close or maybe a little bit ahead i, I think it's one and the same to me i think it's a, either way it goes you're eliminating life I, think. I just I just feel like because because abortion is a decision of the mother but, what about, the, but you're talking from the mother but what about the kid well okay so I'm saying who's God holding accountable for the sin right so back in slavery we all were just there I mean I'm saying we our ancestors were just there living through the pain living through the hell of it all mm-hmm. and so for me I'm just like I can't imagine anything being compared comparatively worse than that Mm-hmm. What about the Holocaust? I don't talk about that because I'm not in that community. But the, you, you can imagine <laughs> that because <laughs> it's worse. I talk about it. But it could be worse. No, no, no. Wise, I've seen this argument on Instagram, mm-hmm. Holocaust versus slavery. I don't get into that. Wow. I, I yeah. just I just say that. So I, get I, get what, I, I get what you're saying, but... How long did the Holocaust last? <sighs> I don't get into those years either. Because <laughs> they, long... they still feel the effects of it. So you can't... They, if, you, if you give a number to it, somebody's going to have didn't a problem Didn't Germany give them reparations? All, all I'm saying is evil is evil. Right? Mass is. atrocities it are is. mass atrocities. It this is. is one of them. Evil is evil, bro. This is one of them. I yeah. get what you're saying, though. I, I get it. Yeah. Trust me. I get it. Yeah. Like, I was talking to a counselor. They say a lot of people who come in, they, they're dealing with post-traumatic slave disorder. and don't mm. even realize it because mm. the way your mother and your grandma raised you, and her, well, she was raised by her grandma. Yeah. And like All of them had to adjust to live a certain lifestyle due to the effects of slavery. Mm -hmm. You can't go here. You can't say this. You got to go through the back door. You got to drink out the color water fine. You got to do this. Like, and before that, like they learned this stuff. Like, so it's like a submissive mindset Mm -hmm. that they had, where they didn't want to push the envelope and try to achieve certain things because they were raised to believe they were beneath a certain group of people. All coming back stemming from. The yeah. brainwashing from slavery, even the families today still being divided and broken up and buck breaking and things of that nature that happened during those times. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I definitely say I definitely feel the effects, but you also can't, in my mind, minimize the murder of children who didn't even have a chance to even have a voice. It's like you just wiping them out. So I think with slavery, you were trying to eliminate black people. You were trying to demean black people. You weren't really trying to give us a chance to anything besides mm-hmm. being your slave and working for you and even to this day, you still insult our intelligence. You demean us. You look at us as less than. You don't even could have. At that time, during slavery, they didn't even consider black people to be a human being. You were like one third of a human being. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They called us black. They just gave us a color. We're not. Everybody else got a race name. We call black. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I get the disrespect and everything mm-hmm. that comes from it. But I can't minimize mass murder at the but same then, time. But then even oh the same goodness. thing, it, it's still, it's abortion benefits white supremacy too. Because yeah. the, yeah. the no, woman who created it. It's an extension yeah. of slavery. Yeah. It's one yeah. and the same. And she's a racist. Like, I, I see your correlation so clearly now. Um, because yes, most of the um, Planned Parenthood clinics are in minority neighborhoods. And the lady... Um, who created it is racist and she hates minorities so it's literally was put to make us take ourselves out and and what what also just connected to me because like you said slavery how it it changes wig it, it it turns into the new jim crow with pre- with 
prison and now I feel like it's turning into abortion. Yeah. It's one and the same. I, I I don't want to offend anybody by saying that, but I think it's one and the same when you're talking about murdering people. It's evil. Like evil is evil. Like and oh my it's goodness. it's affecting millions of people. And Slavery is affecting millions of people. And I would say if you're disconnected from why we're saying it's so evil, look up what the process is of late term abortions. If if you have no connection to how what we're talking about, mm. we're not making that up. It's disgusting. Wow. Um, so if you're kind of blind to it and you're like, oh, it's not that bad, it's really bad. It's wow. really bad. So just, a, just take a look at it. But a poll says, which one is worse between slavery and abortion? Slavery, 55%. Abortion, 45%. Yeah, it should be 50-50. Yeah. It's all 